have crews from Florida up the coast to the Carolinas, but we want to start today with Chief Meteorologist Doug Hill monitoring the storm's track. Doug? Hey, Michelle, and right now the center of still powerful Hurricane Matthew is uh, located southeast of Jacksonville, Florida. It has remained off the coast. That has meant that the strongest winds around the core have been just offshore. But at some points last night, early this morning, got to within 10 miles of the coastline. So it's continued to take the heavy winds, heavy rain, closer and closer to the coastline and as it gets north that's going to mean even worse news as far as inundation storm surge and coastal flooding in areas along the Georgia and South Carolina coast starting tonight through tomorrow morning. The winds may diminish a bit, but the heavy winds are spread out over a large area. Now all the coasts South Coast starting to clean up a bit. We'll get a live update now from ABC's Marcy Gonzalez reporting live from New Smyrna Beach. Hi there, and we're now starting to see people come out to start to clean up and assess the damage because as the storm is now clearing out of central Florida, north of here, the threat is just beginning. Hurricane Matthew battering parts of Florida. It's eye brushing the coastline, bringing flooding from the beaches to the center of the Sunshine State. When you factor in this with high tide, this again could be some unprecedented flooding in some locations. Forecasters calling for potential storm surge as high as 11 feet with wind gusts surpassing 100 miles an hour in some places, bringing down power lines and trees. We heard like a big boom when we seen it come down. The death toll in Haiti climbing. The Interior Ministry saying nearly 300 people were killed, but with many areas still inaccessible, local officials suggest that number could multiply. Meanwhile, at least two hurricane-related deaths reported in Port St. Lucie, Florida, with a warning the life-threatening impacts from this storm may still not be over. I just want to emphasize to everybody that uh, this is still a really dangerous hurricane. That danger now shifting towards Georgia and the Carolinas. Officials there are urging people, especially in coastal areas, to evacuate as Hurricane Matthew makes its way northward. This is going to hurt. We're trying to just reduce um, the amount of lives lost or harm done as much as we can. Yeah, while here, all that's left of Matthew is some rain, some light wind, along with some power outages, and for a lot of people, a lot of cleaning up left to do. Live in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News. Now back to you. Marcy, thank you. Marcy, thanks very much. I'm Jonathan Elias here in Jacksonville, and now we understand the fury of the storm. They've dealt with it in Daytona. They dealt with it in Vera Beach. Now they're dealing with it here in Jacksonville. This is as bad as it has been all day long. We have been all over this area, seen a lot of damage. Trees are being ripped out of the ground or torn apart. Let me show you what's going on here. We came down to the beach to show you this. Uh, the knucklehead of the year award goes to whoever parked these two cars right by the side of the ocean here. Hold on. It's really windy. You okay, Rich? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you, I got you, hold on. I gotta hold my photographer up. Richard, you good? Yeah. All right, so these two BMWs were parked here right by the side of the ocean. And I gotta tell you, the storm surge has already been up once and it's coming back again. It at some point is going to take these cars out to sea. These cars have already been underwater. The water came up over the top of their windows. Everything else has been evacuated from this area. But at this hour, I can tell you in Florida still, some 600,000 plus people are without power. And you get, a, you get a pretty good understanding why. I'm a 200 pound man, I'm being thrown around about like I'm a leaf out here. This is as bad as it's been all day. It's only gonna get worse because the eye of this hurricane now is about 75 miles out that way with the ocean. It's 75 miles south of us. So as it gets up, when it's almost on par, or even with us, it is going to be horrible right here. The conditions have deteriorated. Nobody's out and about. The evacuation order was heated. We haven't seen anybody in this area at all. This is where the storm is sitting right now. The storm is moving to the north. Annalisa Gale right now is in Charleston, South Carolina, where the governor there issued a warning for everybody to get out. Let's go to Annalisa now, because we're, we're getting blown around. You OK? Annalisa? Jonathan. 
Jonathan, we're meeting a lot of people that are not listening or to the governor's recommendations. Right now, things are no longer calm here in Charleston, South Carolina. Just take a look at the ocean. Just look at how the waves are moving. This is how much it's picking up here in this area. The rain is starting to come down. It's beating us. We can hear the wind howling. Right now, the governor is urging everyone to do everything they can to be safe, and it only time will tell what will happen. As Hurricane Matthew approaches South Carolina, officials are continuing to urge residents to evacuate before it's too late, with conditions expected to get worse on Friday night. It is getting worse, and so we are looking at major storm surges. By Friday afternoon, most grocery stores, restaurants, and gas stations closed their doors with uncertainty lingering. Some chose not to provide customers with an exact date for when they will reopen. I think my house could hold me. You got to have faith. God works everything out. We ran into several empty shelves at this Harris Teeter, which closed at noon. Those who chose not to evacuate stocked up on the essentials. The essentials are cat litter because I forgot, and since I might be stranded for a little while, I brought toilet paper. The governor says roughly 310,000 people have evacuated, but for those who plan on staying, things may get tough. 911 services said that if during the storm they've asked you to evacuate and they can't come and get you, that it's my responsibility to. I should have. I should have left. Jonathan, the governor will have another update at 6 p.m. as far as what's happened here in Charleston, South Carolina, with Hurricane Matthew approaching. As far as the people here, we've seen them walking along the battery here in Charleston. And there's also curfews in effect that will start later on tonight in parts of Charleston, South Carolina. Jonathan, I'll send it back to you. All right, Annalisa, thanks very much for that. Again, behind me, the storm surge continues now. To, it comes in and then it recedes. It comes in and recedes. At closer the eye of this hurricane gets to us, the more that ocean is going to move up. The surge will come forward. They say it could be anywhere from six to nine feet. So that's what we're looking out for, and that's the part that does all the damage. Let me show you something else. We're standing behind a wall, but it's kind of like a wind tunnel. The wind is swirling around this building. There's no real place to hide, and the pressure from this wind is popping the windows out that aren't shuttered on this hotel right here, and we just dodged one. It came flying out, and smashed into a bunch of pieces, and went flying by us. It kind of like a like a it was shot out of a cannon. So you know, obviously we're paying attention to what we're doing, but it gives you an idea of the destruction and the damage and the force of these winds that's going on right now. One quick thing is we we send it back to you, Michelle and Allison. I don't know if you can see the ocean out there. It's tough to see because of the rain is just coming down in blankets. But that ocean is turning up. It is angry, and those waves are piling up on top of each other. And that is what we've seen with the surge. When they come ashore, like I said, those two cars were almost the water was almost over the top of the wind. Windows. Uh, so it's it's a lot of water, it's a lot of rain, and the surge is the real problematic part of this hurricane right now here in Jacksonville. Uh, I'm going to toss it back to you guys. We're going to stay down here and monitor what's happening with the storm as, again, the eye continues to make its way here. Okay, punishing Michelle, winds and rain out there. John, you and the crew be safe out there. Meanwhile, here in the district, critical work is being done around the clock to help hurricane victims. That's right. At the FEMA headquarters, which is in southwest, emergency crews are being deployed now to some of the hardest hit areas down south. A half a million bottles of water, oh, yeah. along with half a million meals and blankets and cots, have all been shipped out. President Obama Obama cleared the way for relief efforts when he declared Florida a state of emergency. Whatever devastation Hurricane Matthew causes in the U.S., it's likely to be nowhere near what the storm did in Haiti. The death toll has rapidly climbed to at least 400 on the island. A United Nations official in Haiti says Hurricane Matthew is the country's worst humanitarian mm. disaster since the earthquake in 2010. Wow. Meanwhile, in the Bahamas, destruction there as well. Trees down around the islands southwest of Florida. The powerful storm re-strengthened to a Category 4 hurricane while hitting the Bahamas. One vacationer literally had that hurricane come right into his room. Look at that. Uh, the damage was done at that resort and windows just blown right out. Mm. Stay connected with the latest on Matthew, even when you can't join us here on ABC7. We're updating our website, WJLA.com, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, you can get local weather updates wherever you are by downloading the StormWatch 7 weather app.
And stay with ABC7. We're going to have much more from Jonathan there in Florida in just a few minutes. Plus, the CEO of Backpage.com arrested in Texas. Vice officers explain how they hope this arrest puts an end to the sex trade in hotels right here in the D.C. area. And the time is now to act if you want to see the Obamas light the White House Christmas tree.